Welcome back to the Renegades of Puck podcast. It's now time for the Rebirth Sports full game recap. You give me 10 minutes, I'll give you the entire game, every goal, every power play, and every play that mattered right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast. We go all the way back to October the 14th of the year, 2023, when the Nashville Predators were in Boston to face off against the Bruins, and Andrew Brunette deployed his lines in the following way, but I'm going to give you a caveat right after I give you these lines. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Parson, Nyquist, Glass, and Smith, Tomasino, Novak, and Evangelista. Trenton, Sissons, and Sherwood make up your fourth line. Your defensive pairings for this game are Yossi and Fabro, McDonough and Carrier, Luzon and Barry make up your third pair. UC Saros gets his third consecutive start of the season. Now, I give you those line combinations because we always give you the line combinations to start the game. But on the first shift of the game, these line combinations were already shifted around. So Andrew Brunette already experimenting with the combinations even before the game began. We are 53 seconds into the game in Boston, and it is Swayman coming up with a save on Barry from long range. First shot on goal of the game, 125 into the first period. It's going to be Soros coming up with a save on Marshawn from a sharp angle. That's you see Soros' first save of the game at 323 off the first period. Soros set up with a save on Shattenkirk at 329 of the first period. Colton Sissons scores his second goal of the season. It's Sherwood feeding Sissons in the slot off of the rush. Good speed, good rush, good finish right here for Colton Sissons. Second game in a row for Colton Sissons scoring goal. Nashville Predators on the board 1-0 in this game. 421 into the first period. It's Marshawn off the box. Two minutes for high sticking on Parsonen and then we are going to enter quite the exchange of special teams players play right here so please follow along McAvoy would then pick up a penalty two minutes for holding the stick which would allow the Predators to be on a five on three for 14 seconds then a five on four for a minute and 47 seconds during that time frame Soros would have to come up with a save on Marshawn just out of the box at the end of the five on three and then Swayman would come up with a big save on Evangelista then Tommy Novak is off to the box two minutes for slashing creating a four on four for 31 seconds Boston then goes on the power play five on four for a minute and 28 seconds Swayman though has to come up with the big shorthanded save on Colton Sissons off of the rush before UC Saros closes out the penalty kill with a big save on Pasternak we see we're already halfway through the first period due to all of those special teams in a 10 18 of the first period it's Forberg's off to the box more special teams. Two minutes for hooking on this minor penalty, and it is Swayman clocking in, uh, about to go to work. The National Predators power play hasn't looked particularly full of life and exuberance, but it will over the next couple of minutes here. Swayman comes up with a save on Glass's deflection, then follows it up with a save on Yossi's heavy shot, follows that up with the save on Glass, plus the rebound scramble jam, where he finally gets a hold of the rebound and gets the whistle. Then Swayman comes up with another save on Luke Evangelista from the faceoff dot off of one knee. Five total saves on the penalty kill for the Boston Bruins netminder at 1349 of the first period it's going to be Sherwood off to the box for the Predators two minutes for roughing on the follow through it was just a little bit too much on the four check it was a good job until he got the hand up into the face definitely he earned the two minutes right there and unfortunately for the National Predators it's going to be Van Riemsdyk for Boston cashing in on this power play with his first goal of the season it was a bank in off of Fabro it was a pass attempt Attempt and Dante Fabro went down to the belly to try to block that, and he did block it right into his own net. 1-1 one, one hockey game right here in the second period. At 14-46, Soros back to work, coming up with a save on Van Riemsdyk, who was feeling it after scoring that goal. 17-47 of the first period, Soros coming up with a save on Poitras from the slot, plus the rebound follow-up by Geeky. This was a huge, huge save exchange for the Nashville Purs, and Soros' best work of the period. 1906. Of the first period. Saros comes up with a save on McAvoy. Boston gaining momentum as we head towards the end of the first period over the last couple of shifts. The Preds do outshoot the Bruins 16 to 11 over the first 20 minutes, but we do have a tied hockey game at one apiece going into the clean sheet on the second period. It's 41 seconds in. Swayman's already back to work coming up with a save on Yakov. Trent 143. Saros also back to work coming up with a save on DeBrusque at 319 in the second period. It's going to be Lock off the box. Four minutes for high sticking on the captain Roman Yossi, a double minor right here. Swayman comes up with a save on Evangelista, but the Boston PK, honestly, was uh, just absolutely outstanding over the course of this four minutes of play. Their blue line denials might have been the most impressive part of this four minutes, but they are very active, very aggressive, and they certainly are not afraid to be out there on the PK against this Nashville Predators power play. 
745 of the second period. Stars comes up with the save on Pasternak. Breakaway with the cuff of the gloves to stop a 60-goal scorer in that situation is absolutely huge for the National Press. Nine minutes into the second, Saros comes up with a save on Poitras. 10-02, Saros comes up with a save on Lucic with the glove. The Bruins are buzzing all over the ice at this point in time. 10-28 of the second period. Lindholm off to box two minutes for interference, giving the National Press an opportunity to go on the power play. Again, that's where Swayman is going to come up with a save on Yossi. Then Swayman's going to come up with another save on O'Reilly and follow it up with one last save on Nyquist. Good job by the National Press power play, but they cannot convert yet again. 12-23 of the second period. It's Marshawn now off to the box. Two minutes for charging on Nyquist. Nyquist did leave the game briefly, but did return and finish. Swayman comes up with another save on Yossi, then comes up with a save on Tommy Novak, and the Boston Bruins are able to kill off another power play for the Nashville Predators. At 14-46 of the second period, it's a penalty shot awarded to Pasternak after Carrier holds the stick. It is deemed illegal check on a breakaway and on the penalty shot. Pasternak is their goal of the season. It's just the sickest wrist shot you're ever going to see. Uh, it's highly impressive goal and uh, he converts, giving the Boston Bruins a 2-1 to lead in the second period. But the Nashville Predators responded pretty quickly. 16-54 of the second period. Colton Sissons gets his third goal of the season. It comes on a delayed penalty call. Second game in a row, the Preds have scored on a delayed penalty call. Tip in slot of Yossi's shot. Good layered traffic for the Nashville Predators in the 6-on-5 opportunity right here. So Colton Sissons already his third goal of the season ties the game at two apiece between the Nashville Predators and the Boston Bruins. 17-54 in the second period. Saros comes up with a save on DeBrusque. 18-30. Saros a save on Coyle. 19-52. Saros a save on Beecher. Boston again buzzing there at the end of the second period. Nashville Predators though still out shooting the Boston Bruins. 27-22 after 40 minutes of play. Game tied at two apiece. 27 seconds into the third period. It is Swayman coming up with a save on Trennan at 43 seconds of the third period. Swayman comes up with a save on Forsberg. Preds, good first shift of the period to 10 of the third period. Luzon's off to the box. Two minutes for high sticking. Saros is going to come up with a big save on Van Riemsdyk, but then Van Riemsdyk is going to immediately respond with his second goal of the game, and it was a tip in front on McAvoy's shot, beating Saros, giving Boston a 3-2 lead in this game. 531 of the third period. Trennan is off to the box. Two minutes for interference on Marshawn. As a matter of fact, uh, that would be described as a retaliation penalty, and it was baited perfectly by Marshawn. Everybody who plays against Marshawn knows exactly what he's going to do and exactly how it's going to be called, yet they seem to fall for it every time. I suppose that's why they say that guy's one of the best. On this penalty kill for the Purs, Saros comes up with a save on DeBrusque, and then the National Purs penalty kill is able to survive this situation. 8.30 of the third period, Saros comes up with a save on Locko, 8.57. Swayman comes up with a save on Glass, 10.06. Saros, a save on DeBrusque, back and forth at 10.21. Swayman comes up with a save on Tomasino. Nyquist hits the post on the subsequent follow-up play, 14.19 of the third period. It's Colton Sissons off the box, two minutes for interference. And I got to be honest with you, the Purs are probably Probably gotten away with three, maybe four penalties uh, in the shifts just before this. So it was going to get called. And Colton Sissons uh, got himself two minutes right here. Saros comes with a save on Van Riemsdyk, who was absolutely everywhere the second half of this game. We hit the empty net scenario, 1802 of the third period. And Swayman does have to come up with a couple of big saves at 1852 on the captain, Roman Yossi, at 1913 on Tyson Barry. Barry doing. An incredible job out there at the blue line, keeping the puck in, changing the shot lanes, and absolutely getting pucks through. I mean, he's highly impressive out there and unable to get the puck in the net, unable to convert at the end as the National Predators continued battling until the very final seconds. They kept the puck in the zone almost the entire time that Saros was out of the net, but they were unable to convert. The Boston Bruins, Ben, don't break. They stand tall on home ice here at the end of the third period, and they come away with the 3-2 to two victory over a very tenacious Predators team who, let's face it, they had their opportunities to win this game. Highly surprising to a lot of people probably that this game was tied at 2-2 two to two in the third period and that it took the Bruins uh, a late goal to win this one by just one on home ice over the Nashville Predators. Uh, Nashville out shoots Boston 36-32 overall in this game and another game where the Nashville Predators did a, a very good job of starting to implement the new style and it's very easy to see that at 5-on-5 five five hockey, the Nashville Predators were 
highly competitive in this game, and it's also very easy to see exactly where the Nashville Predators lost this game. We'll break all that down. We'll go through the numbers. We'll go through the analysis. We'll go through the box score. But uh, when you go 0 for 7 on the power play on the road, including a 5 on 3, uh, it's just not a recipe for beating uh, what was last year the best team in the entirety of the NHL in one of the toughest ranks uh, in the NHL. So the National Purse had their opportunity just like they did against Tampa. A much better game overall than they played against Tampa, but failure to convert on seven power plays is going to doom you each and every single time. Uh, so many opportunities given. It got to a point where the Bruins just looked like they were unafraid to go shorthanded against that Predators, let's face it, limp power play. Uh, they're working on it, and we've got to give them a little bit of time and room to grow with a, a new coach and a brand new power play and a new system and some new players. But uh, 0 for 7 really jumps off the page as uh, as truly the reason the Nashville Predators lost this game. So we'll get to it. We'll break everything down coming up in the next segment right here on the Renegades of Puck podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for joining us right here. You gave us 10 minutes. We gave you the entire game, all the goals, all the penalties, and all the important plays in between. We appreciate each and every one of you for joining us here on the Renegades of Puck podcast right back after this.